guys it's becoming really expensive living in the uk like life abroad life in the uk it's not easy at all especially at this period because everything is just rising i remember when i first came into the uk what things were like and what they are right now and the difference is so clear like things are now very expensive how do people even cope how do people survive abroad especially in the uk how do people even save? How are you expected to do all these things, pay your bills, survive and still save money? How? I know that some of you will come and say, if you don't like it, go back to your home country. See, that's not why I'm making this video. I'm living my truth, okay? This is the reality of living in the UK. Like everything, food, bills, everything is just on the rise and it's increasing daily. It's not even going down right i remember when i first came into the uk we're buying fuel for about 99p but now it's about two pounds or thereabouts now this is not in any way to discourage anybody who wants to move to the uk of course you guys know that i share information on how people can move to the uk and all that this is not to discourage you if you know this is just me telling you guys the reality on ground so that if you're planning to move to the UK, you just prepare your mind for what you're coming to face, okay? You guys, we are all going to be fine, right? So I really want to get into how much we spend in the UK for a family of four in the UK, how much we spend monthly so you guys will have a rough idea. I did a video on that last year about how much we spend on bills and all that. And I know that right now it has increased. How do we even get all this money? Like, do we spend all our paycheck everything we work for on our bills every month please stick with me to the end of this video so you find out all about that okay my name is tochi you're welcome to my channel please subscribe like this video share it so everyone can benefit from it and to all my returning subscribers you guys are wonderful you're welcome back to my channel this video is brought to you in partnership with lemonade finance it's an app that me and many of my friends and family regularly used to send money to africa lemonade Lemonade Finance allows Africans in the UK, in Canada, and in the US. Yes, US has been added recently. So, Lemonade Finance allows Africans in the UK, in Canada, and in the US to send money to 10 African countries. So, you can send money to Ghana, Kenya, Nigeria, Senegal, Ivory Coast, Cameroon, Benin, Tanzania, Uganda, and Rwanda at zero fees. Yes, guys, you heard me, zero fees. There are no transaction charges at all. The recipient receives the money instantly and guys they have the best trades that you can find in the market so you would always get your complete value for money I've been using Lemonade Finance for some time now. I can guarantee you that it's very fast, easy to use, and completely free when it comes to sending money back home. Lemonade Finance has launched in US already and it will be launching very soon in Europe. And when that happens, I'll definitely let you guys know, okay? So you can download the app with my referral link in the description box to get 10% cash back on your first transactions. You can also type in my code TOCHI if you've downloaded the app directly from the App Store. That way you get 10% cash back back on your first transactions above 100 pounds so if you send 100 pounds you get 10 pounds back if you send 200 pounds you get 20 pounds back and so on capped at 50 pounds this is really nice guys i know so what are you waiting for hurry now download lemonade finance app and begin to send money to africa for free and don't forget to use my code tochi so you get the 10 percent cash back so back to the video on how much we spend on our monthly bills for a family of four living in the UK. The first one is our mortgage. And guys, I'm honestly glad that we have gotten our mortgage because this period, I don't know what would have happened because right now landlords are beginning to increase their rent and all of that. So that one is stable and we're sure that for every month, we're going to be paying £537. So yeah, for our mortgage, we pay 537 every month. The second one is council tax. So for our council tax, we pay £165. Now, there are so many factors that determine how much you're going to be paying for council tax if you live in the UK, okay, if you live in England. So it could be the city you live in, your council, the type of your house, and a lot of factors that determine how much you're going to be paying for council tax. So the third one is insurance. And for the purpose of this video, I put together like almost all the insurance that we pay on our house, appliances, life insurance, and everything and it's about 90 pounds every month then we'll now move to car insurance for our car insurance we pay 110 pounds every month 
the next one is car tax so if you have a car remember you're going to be paying car tax and for our car tax we pay 25 pounds so moving on we'll now go to water bills so for our water we pay 35 pounds every month now to our broadband we pay 28 pounds every month so broadband is like your internet connection you know so it's 28 pounds every month now we now move to phone bills okay so for myself and my husband we pay 56 pounds so we now move to energy bill guys you know that energy bill has lately been on the increase it has increased recently and so for our gas and electricity we pay about 180 pounds every month that's really high so now i'm really trying to reduce this bill and minimize how much we use electricity in our house so for fuel it just depends on how much we travel how much we use the car for school runs for work and my husband usually travels for work and all that so it depends on how much he travels or how much we travel as a family so approximately for a month we spend about 150 to 200 pounds on fuel so guys we now move to feeding this is the very important one and for feeding we spend about 250 to 400 pounds every month it could even be more but for the purpose of this video let's leave it to 250 to 400 pounds so when i first came to the uk when we go for shopping maybe we go to aldi because we usually shop in aldi because i feel like it's very much affordable compared to other stores so whenever we go to aldi to shop and we go like every week we spent like 40 pounds 30 something pounds but now it's not like that like every time we go to aldi to shop right now we don't spend anything less than 50 pounds because everything is on the increase guys even apple that this pink lady apple that i love so much is now two pounds so sometimes when you want to buy apple you're looking at it you're like two pounds to buy apple and it's crazy it, fruits are very much expensive right now everything is just going up and it's not coming down and you're just wondering what's happening even when you say oh it's just milk we need or we don't need so much things and you enter aldi guys i'm telling you by the time you pick just few things and you go to the counter and they tell you the price you're like what did i just buy i also buy baby food from asda as well and one pack of baby food is three pounds over three pounds baby milk when i started buying it, it was about 11 pounds but now it's 13 pounds and i'm like what's happening a pack of this food is so small that a baby will just finish it in one day so imagine you're spending three pounds for baby food every day for each pack of baby food three pounds so imagine that as well but for african food because that's where the bulk of our money goes into we buy african food once in every two months right so when we go there we buy in bulk and once we go to african store we don't spend anything less than 170 pounds in fact right now we don't spend anything less than 200 pounds because african food is also increasing as well right so we try to buy in bulk buy everything that we would need for the next two months so we don't have to go back every month for african food so even if we run out of stock it won't be to go and buy everything again to just be to buy maybe to buy a carton of plantain chips or to buy maybe one pack of swallow or something do you get my point we try to manage so that it will last us for two months so that's basically it for the groceries toiletries food everything we need for the house so i put everything together in this category and it's 300 to 400 pounds every month now move to clothing and toys i didn't put any price on this because obviously we don't shop for that every month and sometimes i just go out and just feel like i want to buy clothes for the kids i just see something i like a toy i like i just pick it up okay and of course it's not every month i do that so that is why i didn't put the price of this in this video okay like for instance you know that children's toys are really expensive so you could just go out with your child and then he sees a toy that he likes she sees a toy that she likes and she wants to buy it she doesn't understand that oh there's no money or things are hard she just wants that toy and you'll buy for instance let me show you guys something so you guys know that children like jj so see this jj i bought it for 15 pounds i'm not even kidding we almost didn't buy it but my daughter kept crying my husband just said buy it and you know children love jj children love coco melon so we just had to buy it so things like that their toys are expensive their clothes are not so expensive depending on the shop you go to so that is why i advise you try to go to shops that are really affordable so i didn't put that in the bill for this video because like i explained we obviously don't buy clothes and shoes and toys every 
every month okay the next is nursery because for every extra hour that my daughter spent in school we're paying for it but for the next school session we'll stop paying because she's going into school full time okay so for that one we're spending about 120 pounds for that now move to all our tv subscriptions netflix amazon you know everything we subscribe to and it's about 50 pounds that we pay every month so guys for the uk you guys know that there is an option of finance and this makes buying some things a bit easier where you just go to buy something and then pay a deposit and spread the payment for a number of months or over a year it just depends on the agreements you have with the dealer and so sometimes you might just want a gadget or want a product or want something and just pay a small money on it that's a deposit and then spread the payment over a period of time all right so we are doing that right now for our furniture and for that we pay 75 pounds and it's interest free so when we went to buy our furniture and they gave us that option we gladly took it so this is like how much we spend every month on the basics now if you notice I purposely left out how much we send home every month and this is because it's a bit personal and it's discretionary so you could send anything you want to send home to your family and friends your parents every month that's another that place where the bulk of our money goes in every month okay but for the purpose of this video I'm going to leave that out and remember that I mentioned lemonade finance at the beginning of this video that is what I use to send money back home every month it's so easy to send money back home so that is what we use so please let me know how much you spend as well if you want to so in the comment section if you live in the UK if you live abroad let me know how much you spend every month for a family of five family of four family of three family of two family of one if it's just you as well in the uk let me know how much you spend or approximately how much you spend every month living in the uk how you guys are surviving because it's not easy so i advise everyone to try and get a second job try and get a second source of income because if you depend only on your paycheck every month in the uk guys see you will barely survive you just be living your life to be paying your bills you will just basically be working to be paying your bills because it's just so much so please everybody try and get an extra source of income try and get into business if you want me to make a video on how you can register your business in the uk let me know in the comment section i'm going to do that so yeah the total of everything so far is 2021 pounds remember that i left clothing out of this i left how much we send home out of this so just try and imagine how much the total if i'm going to add all these things how much is going to amount to right how much is an average salary in the uk how much do we even earn so you see why you need to get a second source of income you need to try and get a side hustle in the uk because it will really help all right so yeah thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys in my next one Bye bye